Cam, it's raining. It is. Why is it raining? I do not like starting a new job and it's raining. It's wet, but it's hot. Righty. So, new job. Nice little one. Well, it's a good size, actually. See the um, railway sleepers? We're ripping them out um, and basically building um, a wall. Basically exchanging it for a wall. So this is the sort of style. It's a type of hamstone. Um, with just like these uh, sort of Sahara style tops. But yeah, so we'll literally rip out all the uh, sleepers all the way down, all the way along there as well. And then, uh, yeah, replace it with a wall like this. Morning, Cam Cam. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna start with just taking the sleepers down. Well, move all the pots first. And uh, yeah, take the sleepers down and then clear out, put a footing down. The customer doesn't want any of the beds affected basically so we're going to take the wall down and then just bring it out well whatever it is i think the um the stones come in already pre-cut to about uh i think it's 150 mil so 15 centimeters um and then obviously you've got uh, i think it's four inch blocks like uh so we, we, we could, we're just gonna basically work that's the back and there but where it's been so dry hopefully because now it's raining the uh, bank doesn't just decide to collapse basically so the less we disturb that bank the better just uh, get everything prepped all the materials are coming today um it's quite a small site so we need to make sure it's all organized and uh yeah we'll get this um get these sleepers out and like i say get some prepped and then uh hopefully well yeah if the materials come at a good time we'll get some uh we'll get a nice footing down it feels like it's getting heavier doesn't look too pretty does it right anyway cam what we're gonna do mate we're gonna crack on geezer. We're gonna crack a lacquer on geezer. That's it, Cam. You're doing really well there. Do you know what, actually, Cam? You'd suit working in a garden centre. All you need is a name badge. Right, see, let's uh, see how these sleepers come out. Hopefully, they haven't actually been put in properly. Yeah, uh, if not, the grinders will be coming out. But looks like it's starting to go. Actually, it's only how long? Do you know? I think they're just. Um, it looks like they're just nailed on. Nailed, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, look, mate, look. Anyway. Yeah, that's the problem with sleepers. That's all right, that's good. So hopefully it will stay there. Might bring... No, no, I was just thinking. What do you mean hopefully? It will stay there. No, 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 not... not, not, not hopefully not the wall. I'm talking about the, the dirt on the other side. Because if that can stay there and everything's like all bedded, it looks quite established plants, doesn't it? I hope I will... Uh, excuse me, we've never had any problems, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the dirt will stay there and because uh, if the dirt stays there, the customer is very protective of the grass. But I think they're gonna come out easy, mate, to be honest, yeah. I don't think they're in still look at that. Yeah, I know. They're not uh, these aren't pinned. Bottom ones might be a Do you know what they are? They're just literally attached to a pole, yeah, banged in. This yeah, is what we want. What a great start, eh? Well anyway, let's go have a cup of tea. Hi. Just been made a lovely cup of tea. Right, see, let's, let's crack this out, Cam. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, let's do some damage. Another day we got absolutely washed out. We had a massive palaver with the uh, delivery. It was all, we had to move it all basically. 
60 blocks, all the coping stones, oh, because you couldn't, you just couldn't boom into the garden. But anyway, so yeah, we sorted out all the stone, got some various piles, didn't put too much on the grass, because obviously I want to try and preserve as much of it as possible. Just got the first footing in up here. So it's about, yeah, over, about 200 deep, obviously left an inch on top of it. And then uh, over here, we're just gonna, we're just cracking on, we're obviously digging it out. See how deep we're going. So it's, I'm aiming for about, it's about 350 really. And um, the stone's been cropped to about 200, then obviously uh, you've got 10 on the uh, blocks as well. The four inch blocks like. So that makes 30, so I've just added five. So basically, you know, the width is gonna be 35. So yeah, it's all grand really. It's gonna crack on with that. Um, a little bit deeper than that, all the way along. And then uh, yeah, get that footing in. And uh, it's supposed to rain about midday. So we'll just see how we go. Just want to get these in nice and strong, quite a dry mix, but obviously trying to smooth it over as good as possible. Quite lucky as well, because uh, in the bottom, it must have been some, some sort of path or something, because we literally, we dug down about, I think it's about sort of 300 and uh, started hitting, it looked like sort of slabs, if you know what I mean, but yeah, that's all gravy really. We're just going to crack on that now and uh, yeah, hopefully this goes off before we get any uh, major downpours. It's just a bit bit eerie. And yeah, like I say, get that one in. Job will be a good one. Right, let's go. so i've got one course up i don't have to worry about drainage up to that point that's already sorted in that one this one down here um we've agreed we're just going to do like the wheat pole sort of situation it's not the best drainage system but it is only for that little bit there it's about 500 high of bank and then apparently um there's like some french drains on the other side of that so i don't really think drainage is going to be a problem but we'll put the wheat poles in anyway let that go off now obviously got all the base down um, got all the footings down ready uh, so yeah we're just going to carry on obviously another course of blocks is going to go on there and then obviously from this point it's going to step from that corner it's just going to step down to one and it's going to tuck in there and then obviously on this one it's just going to be a straight through double so uh, yeah it's uh, getting on now it was supposed to rain at 12 but luckily it's uh, it's getting on for about half two now so um, I've used up my last bit of muck um, obviously doing this course so now we're just going to concentrate on getting blocks. I've worked out there's going to be 20 more blocks on this section. And then uh, we've got them down there. And then obviously we've got another delivery coming. So we're going to start loading out some blocks along there. Just get everything prepped. So then tomorrow um, we can just come in and really just crack on now. The build ain't got to do much labour. And uh, yeah, because I say I think I'm on my own Friday and on my own Monday. So I'm no bricky. As long as it's straight, that's all I care about. And uh, we've got a load of tops as well to get in. I'm just trying to keep this one nice and neat. Hence while the stone on random places, just so we don't ruin too much of the lawn. And then here's pretty simple. Pretty uh, straightforward, like I say, obviously you've got a nice footing down. We had some of the um, sleepers poked in that way, but we're just, we're literally just filling up dirt now. We're just gonna run off the, the wall straight up to that post and just end it up against it. And then there was a sleeper in here, that one. Obviously, we're just going to cut off because obviously it went to there. We'll cut off that amount off that sleeper and he can just plop there because I think eventually we're going to come back and then do a little wall on this little bit. So, yeah, nice and simple. Like I say, just a nice prep in time. Preparation is key. But anyway, drink me frothy coffee and jobs are good. And <laughs> 